Bonjour! Welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called Code a Simple Contact Form. And in this lecture, we're going to be coding a skeleton contact form just with some HTML and some classes and such. We're not going to do any validation yet, but I promise you that we will. But this lecture is just to create the skeleton. So let's jump right in. Okie dokie. So here is the contact form in the uh, instructor folder. So this is what the final outcome will look like. We have a simple contact form that says, get in touch with us, your name, your email, your message, a checkbox to subscribe to a newsletter, and a send message button. We won't be doing any validation or form submission yet. This is just to create the form fields. So let's do this. Open up your code editor create a new file in your student folder called contact.php. Again, make sure it's not outside of your student folder. Keep it inside of the proper directory. Open your contact page and start off with your PHP script. And there we're going to do the good old define the title constant. And that will be contact us. Franklin's Fine Dining. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and include our header that is in the includes folder. And close that up. And then let's... There we go. Don't forget your, your quotation marks and your strings. Let's go ahead and add our footer dot php or dot yeah dot php because we don't want to forget that it's very important okay so we got that stuff start uh figured out let's go ahead and add some html so first things first a div that div is going to have the id of contact close it up with a comment so that we know there's going to be a lot of stuff between these tags going to have a horizontal rule Level one header, get in touch with us. Perfect. Okay, so let's just go ahead and add our form. So we're gonna use a form tag. The form has a few attributes that we need to add. That is method and the value of that attribute will be post because we're posting the information of this form to the server action is where the form will will be posting too. So we're going to be leaving it empty because it's going to post to the same page, which is contact.php. If we wanted this to submit to a separate page, we would just say action contact success.php or success.php or thanks.php, so on and so forth. But leaving it empty will submit to the same page. We need an ID. It's going to be contact-form. All right, within these form tags, Let's go ahead and add a HTML label tag and an input tag. And the attributes of the input tag will be type, text, ID will be name, and the name will be, well, name. Because we're literally going to use this field uh, for your name. So let's go ahead and type that between the label and say your name. There is an attribute that you need to add to the label for accessibility purposes. It's four. And then the ID of the input that you want that label to be associated with, which is name in this case, needs to be the same as the four attribute. So the reason why I do that is because in the contact page, this is the instructor version. If you click on the label, you see how it inserts it focuses the text cursor within that text field, that input. Because some people like clicking on the label and also it's a bigger target area. So if I can click in the text fields, but I can also click on the label to get me in the text field. Same with the checkbox. This is a small target area to click, but this is a much larger target area. So it's accessibility purposes and that's how four works with the label associate it with the ID of the input you're using. Go ahead and copy that combination, paste it out, change the information. This will be email, your email, the input type. You can put email for that. The ID of this one will be email and the name will be email. Name, 
the attribute name is what the server will be looking for when you post the form's information. And that's how you access the information from this input. More on that later. Post that one more time here. We're gonna change this from input to text area. Text area has an opening and closing tag, but also has attributes. ID, message, name will be message. Leave that empty in here. We're gonna change the four to message, and this will say, and your message. Okay, let's put another combination here. But first, we're actually going to uh, switch it around here. So take the input, cut it out, and put it before the label. This type will be a checkbox. The name will be subscribe. The ID, sorry, the ID will be subscribe, and the name will also be subscribe. Get rid of this one. The value will be subscribe. There's another attribute there for the input, uh, for the checkbox input. So you can decide a value of what will be sent to the forms post method uh, when you submit the form. So the value, if this is checked, will be subscribe. It's the same thing as if I type something in my input, my, in, my email input, if I typed in my email, the value will be that email. But here we need to determine what the value is if it's checked. The label will be afterwards and that will say subscribe to newsletter. And let's change the for attribute to subscribe. This will allow us to check the label as well to check the checkbox. And we're gonna have one more input and that input type will be a submit button. We're gonna add a few more attributes here. So class, button, and next. I already have some predefined styles set up. The name of this input will be contact underscore submit. And the value will be send message. The value is what it displays within the button. So if I didn't put anything, it would just say submit, which is the default HTML text but we don't want it to say that because that's boring and doesn't convert very well if people want to click on a form submit button. So send message should suffice. Okay, and that should be it. Let's check out what you have coded. Here's your contact.php page. If it looks like this and you have your three fields, the your name, email, and your message, and the subscribe to newsletter checkbox, and your sub, send message button, you should be good. Again, this doesn't do anything if I click it because we don't have any PHP set up, which is what we're gonna do in the upcoming lectures. See you there.